and then holds on at the end to maintain the lead and close this one out as the Vegas Golden Knights finally get one by Thatcher Demko late in the third period on the power play. It was a laser by Theodore, barred down a perfect shot is what it took to get one by him. Well, I think the Canucks had sent the message long ago that the future was bright. Thatcher Demko has certainly increased that. And the congratulations after a hard fought series. You see Mark Stone with an extra congratulatory tap for Quinn Hughes, who made quite an impression. Look at Stone talking yeah. to Demko. No question about it. And it was Mark Stone who said, Listen, we have to find a way to get one by Thatcher Demko. He stoned us in two games straight. They threw everything at him again tonight 36 shots on Thatcher Demko and you could tell a high level of respect for the Vegas Golden Knights and what the Vancouver Canucks pushed them to they pushed them right to the limit in this series had a 3-1 series lead the Canucks wouldn't go away they continued to push tied it up and the Vegas Golden Knights finally are able to finish this one in game seven in dramatic fashion. Now Pete DeBoer earlier on in this series there's two Boston College teammates congratulating each other. Pete DeBoer talked about how good he thought Minnesota was and what Vancouver did to beat the Minnesota Wild in the first round. That's great stuff right there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like that right there. The two goaltenders are the healthy sign of respect and a tap by Robin Leonard on Thatcher Demko along with Peter DeBoer saying, listen, you played outstanding, kid. The Canucks beat Minnesota. They dethrone the defending Stanley Cup champions and they take the Vegas Golden Knights to seven. Tied late in the third period. Ryan Reeves still in uniform celebrating. And Robin Leonard, the last man to leave. A somewhat controversial decision, but that stop. Uh, Brock Besser late in the second period might have been the difference here in game.